Hi everybody. So uh, welcome back to this week's project. So what we're going to work on today is we are going to do some farm animal portraits. So I thought it would be quite nice to draw this cow that I have here. Um, I chose this image because it was nice and clear. I could see good detail and there was some nice shapes as well on the cow's face that I could um, draw clearly. So I'm going to start first of all by drawing up six basic shapes up top and I'm going to look for those shapes on the photo. So I can see that the, the main shape of the cow's head is an oval. So I'm going to start off maybe by drawing a symmetrical line down the center of my page and that's going to help me get um, symmetry in my drawing first of all. So I'm going to start with the top of the head and it's kind of a, well, I guess it's kind of oval and rectangle mixed. So I'm going to try and draw a rectangle shape here maybe, but with sort of rounded out edges so that it's um, not exactly a perfect rectangle. Like so, and that's going to be my main starting point. The the nose shape on the cow, I'm going to add here, and I can see that that is maybe a similar shape that's kind of there. So what I'm trying to do here, and I can see the cow's chin is sort of a baby shape like so. Um, I'm going to say that the eyes are about there. I'm just marking out now where I see everything, and I can see there are ears here and here. And I'm just using some lines to create those basic shapes. There's the body there. Yeah. So that's the basic kind of size that I can see for my cow's face. So I'm going to start off here with the eye. And I can see that the top of the eyelid is arched like so. And I can see that the eyeball sits inside of that like this. And I'm going to draw semi-circle shape and then I'm going to draw a eyelid on the bottom. I can see that there's a pupil inside the eye and I can see that there is a shine on the cow's eye there like that. I can see also an eyelid and I can see the shape of the cow's skull bone there. I'm just outlining now on top of what I can see. So again, there is sort of a symmetrical um, the same on the other side. So I'm going to draw the top eyelid and it's going inwards as well, but in the opposite way. They're like mirrored versions of each other. I'm just checking that they're vaguely the same sort of size. I can see that there is a shine there. The left eye is possibly a little bit larger, but it's okay. And I can see that the, the bottom eyelid is slightly deeper on the left hand side. So exactly the same. I can see the eyelid and the line there and again I can see the top part of the cow's skull shape there and that kind of lends up and into the, that part here. I can see that I'm going to draw in the little fringe of hair on the top of the cow's head and I'm going to draw a little black section there as well black hair sticking out there. Okay, now I'm going to draw the outline shape here and okay, the outline shape here. Okay, I can see that the cow has the bridge of her nose along here and there is also black shape on the cow's face going down and around like so. I can 
can see that the the nose there's, there's skin on the cow's nose here the kind of pink area her nostrils are going down and in two oval shapes here like that and there is a irregular shape like so and then there is a pink shape there Basically, the, the face outlined. I can work now to my ears. I might. I'm not going to have enough room for the ears to fit in to my drawing, and that's okay. Um, because the ears will help fill up the page a little bit more, like so. So now I have the basic outline complete. I am now going to just rub away. The um, basic little shapes that I drew at the start. I have some oil pastels here and I thought it would be quite nice to draw with these today on my cow but if you do not have oil pastels you could perhaps shade yours with pencil you can use coloring pencil you can finish your outline in any number of ways that you see fit depending on what materials you have available at home so I'm just going to start off with oil pastel because I thought it would be nice to use some color today so I'm going to start off maybe with, um, let me see, I'm going to start with the eyes. So I can see that in here there is a white section in the eye. I can see that there is black and I can see that there are pink and peach tones as well on the inner eye shapes there. So I'm going to use pink and peach mixed together to create the, the line of the, the little waterline of the cow's eye. I'm going to draw in the black of the pupil. Making sure to fill in all of the area that I can see. And then I'm going to do the little shines like so. And I can use the the white to blend some of the black together for some of the gloss that I can see on the cow's eye along there like that. Now I'm going to work from the top of the picture down and I'm going to just add a little white value into the hair and I'm going to try and get the direction that the hair is growing so that it looks like it is the correct texture that I am looking at. So I have one layer of white and I can see that there are sort of brown shades in the hair, which is the shadows that I can see. And I'm going to use some of this yellow ochre and that's going to help me to draw the direction of the growth of the hair. And I'm going to use some of this darker brown to draw in some of the shadows because I don't want them to be so very black because the hair is white and if I colour it in black, it'll read as a black hair. So I'm going to use now the, the white to blend over those colours so that they'll kind of sit in a little bit neater into the pastel. Now, our little line that was in the centre is still important because the 
growth pattern of the hair again grows from the center out and down the face of the cow. I can see that the hair is growing up and around the eye here. So I'm trying to get the texture going on on my drawing, which matches what I see in the picture. Now, I might just fill in the main white area first, just to kind of give it um, a base coat. top of that I can use some of the peach colours and so to try and create some of the textures that I can see in the hair especially in here where it's quite dark and I can even go over it leaning much heavier drawing little white lines in like so. Okay, and I'm just gonna work down the, the nose of the cow. Filling in as I go, okay. Little short lines to match the, the type of hair that grows on the face because this hair here is quite long, but the, the rest of the, the the way the hair will grow will be quite short. Okay, so that's more or less the white finished. Um, I'm now going to work on the peach color on the nose. And I've used the HB pencil um, in my outline so that it was much easier to um, draw because if I had a much darker B pencil maybe it would smudge in the pastel a little bit too much and it will begin to look unattractive. So I'm just mixing in some pink there and maybe a little shade of some orange as well just to kind of give a little bit more colour to this the, the, the nose, that kind of peach colour. So it's sort of a pinky peach and then with some white I can blend it all together like so. So in the nose here, I can see that that area is quite dark. So I'm going to use some of the dark brown so that it's different to the black that's on this part. If I use black for my shadow there, it would just blend into the, the nose shape. And I'm going to stop here because this is the bottom of the nose and that is the top. And you can see along this area, that's more of a gray shade than a black shade. Now, so I'm going to blend that in like so, and I'm going to find a grey pastel. If I have one, I think I do. It's just hard to see, is there if grey covers on them? So along here, I'm going to use some grey to blend that up to the, this area here. Now, it is black, but I'm going to give it a grey underbase and then I'm going to go over it in black so that it reads as slightly a different shade to this black black here. So I'm going to use the black pastel now on its side to blend on top of the grey so that it looks shinier than the bottom. Okay, and I can also see that there's little texture dots on the nose of the cow. So I'm going to just put little dots on like that because I've just seen them there so that's a good way to do that and I can see that there are little white shines also so I'm going to just do little dots along there as well in the white and that very bright white is going to help to differentiate and I think I actually do need to put a little black outline there because my nostrils have blended away okay Like so. Okay, there is my nose now, and that's quite satisfactory. I am going to try and get the black of my ear valued in. 
Now, the pastels that I have aren't very soft, um, so they're thinking hard of coming off very, in a very good way. So they're not filling in the texture of the paper so good. So I'm gonna have to work with that. Now, um, that black has kind of not come out very well. So I'm gonna use this dark brown pastel to blend over to kind of work the black into all of the little bits of textured paper. And again, this here, the same. see that there is a white shape underneath the ear like so and I can see that the sky is quite blue so I am going to try and do that next because if I put any more black down it'll kind of work into the blue and it'll not look very good so I'm going to try and get my blue in now So I've chosen a nice bright blue, kind of similar to what's in the background of this photo, but this photo has some clouds as well, which I kind of feel like I'm going to leave out. I think a plainer blue would be better, or you could maybe get another shade of blue and kind of layer them one over the other if you want. Um, or like a red would work nicely as well, or just a flat colored background would look great too. Um, I, I've chosen blue though. Um, uh, you could ombre your background as well, or you could fade your blue out, but I want it flat and plain. Um, because the reason I'm leaving the white out and I'm doing that on purpose is because I have a lot of white in the cow and it's going to be better if I don't have so much clouds because it'll just read better in my picture. There's that area there. And um, so now I'm gonna just get some of my black valued in. So I'm layering the black over that section there. And I'm gonna more lightly shade that area there. And then with the gray, I can see where the light is hitting on the creases of the ear. And I'm gonna draw those in like so. Um, in here then, I'm gonna use my brown and my gray to show the difference between the black levels. Because if I just color in the whole area just black, it's not going to look like they're different parts of the cow's face. So anywhere that it's got a shine, I'm using the gray instead of the white. Because gray would be like a light version of black, I guess. So that's why I'm using the gray there. And then along here, I can have my black shape more definitely added in. Like so. And now I'm just gonna look again and see if there's any little shines on my pastel. So, so what I would say for you guys would be that if you can find a nice photo of a cow at home or online and use that as a reference, you could do any kind of animal as well really in this process if you wish. It doesn't really matter, it doesn't have to be a cow. I can see that there's a little bit of fur along there, so I'm going to draw that in too. Now I'm going to look at this side here. Now this side, actually interestingly, because we have the black face and the black neck, there are lines here of skin and they're actually reflecting because there's light there. And I can see that there's kind of a shine along here on the face as well. So I'm going to do that in extreme white and then I'm going to blend over that in a little bit of grey. 
and then around it I am going to colour the black in then. Okay, uh, again along here, I want to make that stand out against the ear area because that ear is behind that kind of brow, I guess, um, on the cow's face. So I'm kind of paying attention to my background and my foreground parts of the face because the structure is slightly different to humans because, you know, the cow. No. So, and along here, put that, that in. You can also rub with your finger to work the pastel into the paper, like so. Now I've lost my area on my eye, and I'm going to use a very soft, dark pencil to kind of try and get that eye back. Even though technically that would not be good practice, but I don't really have my good pastels with me at home at the moment, and it's just a way to kind of get back my detail. I'm also going to draw in the eyelashes on that cow here. We can. Use some pencil over it if you want. Again, it's not ideal, but given current um, access to materials, it's not going to really make that big of a deal. Yeah. Okay. And there I can see a shine and a bit of a shine there. I think that looks better. And then I can see all along here, it's a lot darker. Let's see if I can get a better black. to outline that shape on the face and then I'm going to go quite closely with it, the black see here how the black ear is going to blend into the black body if I'm not careful. So I'm just going to finish getting the main black areas coloured into my paper. And then I can use my white then to pull the light into that area. Like so. black will kind of blend the white into it to kind of get that light effect. Like so. Okay, now I need to try and get my ear back. So I might use some dark brown to create an edge there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's kind of creating a subtle edge. Um, and maybe even some more white along the bottom here, just to kind of make it stand out a bit more. And then I think if I use some pencil, to draw in the eyelashes here and I can re-outline my eye a little bit just to kind of define that a bit more again. I'm actually even thinking I might just shade my eye a minute. This very soft 6B so that it's a little bit different in contrast to the face on the cow so it's a different value so it stands out <laughs> there okay i think that looks okay maybe an outline here and there we have a finished oil pastel of a farm yard animal 
Um, so you guys can pick whatever you like if you want to do. There's lots of different breeds of cows even if you wanted to maybe look at different colorations. Um, that could be good. You could do bulls. You could do um, some breeds have actually got very large horns. They could be interesting as well. So let's see guys, what you guys come up with. Um, can't wait. So have a lovely week and see you soon. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.